Prinella Scales, a notable actress of her era, stands out among her contemporaries for a particular reason. What sets her apart, in your view? Additionally, amidst her legendary body of work, which project do you believe defined her career? Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and memories. And keep watching as we unravel funny, shocking, and sad facts about her. There's more to discover. Prinella Scales, an esteemed actress, boasts a prolific filmography spanning various genres, showcasing remarkable talent and versatility. With a career marked by captivating performances, she has left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape. One of her notable projects includes the iconic British sitcom Faulty Towers, where she portrayed the memorable character of Sybil Faulty. The series, co-created by John Cleese, remains a timeless classic celebrated for its wit and humor. For those new to her work, Faulty Towers is a must-watch, providing a delightful introduction to comedic prowess. In the world of film, her role in the 1983 drama A Question of Attribution stands out. Directed by John Schlesinger, the film delves into the intriguing realm of art and espionage. The performance is both intricate and compelling, making this movie a noteworthy addition to the filmography. For fans of historical dramas, Stalin is another gem. Here, she skillfully portrays Nadia Alalaeva, bringing depth to the complex character. The film provides a captivating glimpse into the political landscape of the time, showcasing prowess in navigating diverse roles. To further appreciate talent, the 1987 fantasy film The Little Match Girl is a poignant choice. Directed by Michael Custance, this adaptation of Hans Christian Andersen's classic tale allows her to shine in a role that resonates emotionally. In summary, whether through the comedic brilliance of Faulty Towers, the dramatic depth of A Question of Attribution, the historical context of Stalin, or the emotional resonance of The Little Match Girl, the filmography offers a rich tapestry of performances for audiences to cherish. Pranella Scales, a distinguished actress, has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment through her memorable roles across different eras. One of her iconic performances was as Sybil Faulty in the classic British sitcom Faulty Towers. As the wife of the eccentric hotel owner Basil Faulty, she brought a vibrant energy to the character, often stealing scenes with impeccable comedic timing. In the bustling world of 1970s television, her portrayal of Sybil became a testament to comedic prowess. One can't help but remember the famous line, Basil, stop this nonsense at once, delivered with a perfect blend of exasperation and humor. The chemistry between her and John Cleese, who played Basil, created an enduring comedic duo that continues to resonate with audiences. Moving forward in time, Scales showcased versatility in the realm of drama with a role in the TV adaptation of Muriel Sparks' Memento Mori. Her portrayal of Mrs. Morsby White, an elderly woman receiving mysterious phone calls, was both intriguing and captivating. The subtlety in her performance, especially in the scenes where she confronts the unsettling calls, demonstrated remarkable acting prowess. In the world of film, a memorable appearance was made in A Question of Attribution, where she played Queen Elizabeth II. The ability to embody the regal demeanor of the queen while injecting moments of humor showcased acting finesse. One can't forget the scene where she delivers the line, one can't be too careful with one's possessions, can one? With a regal yet sly charm. Contributions to the entertainment landscape have become an intricate part of the annals of history. Iconic roles marked by memorable quotes and scenes continue to resonate with audiences, showcasing enduring legacy in the world of acting. Born to an actress mother and a salesman father, Prunella Scales navigated her life through the unpredictable twists of health challenges. In October 2003, she confronted a serious health setback leading to an urgent angioplasty procedure. Fast forward to January 2013 when she disclosed grappling with short-term memory loss. Specifics like the birth years of her sons or her marriage to Timothy West eluded her recollection. Subsequently, West revealed in March 2014 that Prunella had been diagnosed with mild Alzheimer's disease. Tragically, by August 2015, her cognitive decline had advanced to a point where even the memories of her wedding or married life with West were erased. This journey through health trials paints a poignant picture of a life confronting adversities. And yet, within this narrative, resilience and the human spirit's capacity to confront challenges echo resoundingly. 
Navigating the corridors of both fame and personal tribulations, Prunella Scales' life stands as a testament to the complexities woven into the fabric of the human experience. A journey marked not only by artistic achievements, but also by the resilience displayed in the face of health adversities. Her narrative resonates with the universal struggles of memory and health, creating a narrative that transcends the boundaries of thespian pursuits. Born to an actress mother and a salesman father, Pranella Scales faced diverse challenges in her life. In 1990, she received the Freeman of the City of London Award, a notable recognition. At the age of 17, she earned a scholarship to the Old Vic, showcasing her early talent. Amidst her life's journey, it's worth noting that there exists a musical band named after her. Beyond her theatrical achievements, this unique tribute adds a musical note to her legacy. The narrative takes a turn, delving into health struggles later in her life. Despite these challenges, Prunella's resilience shines through. Her story extends beyond the realms of acting into varied aspects of recognition, from city honors to musical homage. It's a testament to the complexities of human experience, blending artistic accomplishments with life's adversities. This brief exploration reveals facets of Prunella Scales' life, a journey marked not only by her early achievements, but also by the recognition she garnered, spanning the fields of acting and music. Her tale is one of talent, recognition, and resilience, leaving an indelible mark on the diverse landscapes she traversed. Fronting a Tesco TV ad campaign alongside Jane Horrocks, she seamlessly portrayed a fussy mother in a quintessentially British commercial. Her journey in the entertainment world began as an assistant stage manager at Bristol All Vic, a pivotal point that marked the initiation of her illustrious career. Beyond the glitz and glamour of the stage, she cultivated a family life that added depth to her narrative a life not just defined by the spotlight. Raising two sons, one who later ventured into acting by the name of Sam, and the other Joe, her family's connection to the entertainment industry became a legacy in the making. Sam's decision to follow in her footsteps created a fascinating continuation of the family's engagement with the world of theater and film. Despite facing health challenges in the later chapters of her life, she exhibited remarkable resilience. Her diverse experiences, both on and off the stage, unveil a life rich in layers, leaving a lasting impact on various fronts. This glimpse into her career and family life offers a nuanced perspective on the individual behind the roles a testament to the complexity and authenticity that characterized her journey. Intriguingly, this exploration of her life provides a unique lens into the captivating tapestry of experiences that shaped her. It's a narrative that goes beyond the confines of the stage and screen, resonating with audiences on a personal level. A journey that, despite its challenges, adds a unique chapter to the annals of theatrical history. Awarded an honorary doctorate of letters from the University of East Anglia in 2000, Prunella Scales demonstrated intellectual prowess beyond her theatrical achievements. Possessing a photographic memory added a unique dimension to her abilities. Interestingly, her stage name, Scales, was a nod to her mother's maiden name, not just a creative moniker. Navigating diverse roles on and off the stage, she faced unexpected turns. Her association with the University of East Anglia showcased recognition in academic circles. Meanwhile, the photographic memory added a distinctive layer to her talents, contributing to a multifaceted journey. Notably, her stage name, a familial homage, reflected the simplicity that defined her life. This brief exploration into accolades and unique attributes offers a nuanced perspective on a multifaceted identity. Awarded the Patricia Rothermere Award at the 2001 London Evening Standard Theatre Award, she received recognition for her contributions to British theatre. Notably, she portrayed Queen Victoria in Looking for Victoria. Her son, Samuel West, had previously played Prince Albert Victor Edward, Duke of Clarence, Queen Victoria's grandson, in both Edward the King and the Ripper, while her husband, Timothy West, took on the eponymous role of Queen Victoria's eldest son and eventual successor in the former. A British classical stage actress, she honed her craft at the Old Vic Theatre School in London and the Herbert Berghoff Studio in New York. Her training reflected a commitment to excellence in the theatrical arts. This journey, marked by awards and diverse roles, adds a layer to her artistic legacy, showcasing a career deeply rooted in the world of British theatre. Her story extends beyond the stage, blending family and professional life. 
a life that transcends accolades and roles, navigating the intricate balance between personal and professional spheres. This exploration peels back the layers of a career that seamlessly merged talent with recognition, demonstrating a nuanced perspective on the individual behind the roles. Achieving her peak success on TV, Prunella Scales portrayed the nosy and shrewish wife, Sybil Faulty, in the classic John Cleese comedy, Faulty Towers. A lasting friendship with co-star John Cleese marked her tenure on the show. Recognized for her contributions to drama, Prunella was awarded the CBE in the 1992 Queen's Birthday Honors list. Interestingly, her husband, Timothy West, received his CBE in the 1984 Queen's Birthday Honors list. Their joint commitment to the arts earned them both prestigious honors. Her association with Faulty Towers and the esteemed CBE recognition highlight Prunella Scales' impactful presence in the world of entertainment and the arts, showcasing a career marked by notable achievements. This concise glimpse into her television success and distinguished accolades adds depth to her narrative, demonstrating a lasting impact on the British entertainment scene. Awarded an honorary doctorate of letters from the University of Bradford in England in 1999, Prunella Scales demonstrated academic prowess beyond her theatrical achievements. This recognition added another layer to her multifaceted journey. Notably, she earned this distinction for her contributions to the arts. Her connection to academia showcased a commitment to excellence that extended beyond the stage. In addition to her professional achievements, Prunella Scales carries a unique physical trait, a slightly crooked nostril resulting from a hockey match injury. This distinctive feature adds a personal touch to her narrative, reflecting the resilience she exhibited not only in her career, but also in facing life's physical challenges. This glimpse into her academic recognition and a distinctive physical characteristic unveils additional facets of Prunella's identity, offering a nuanced perspective on the individual behind the roles. It's a narrative that goes beyond the confines of the stage and screen, resonating with audiences on a personal level. A journey that, despite its challenges, adds a unique chapter to the annals of theatrical history.